Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. What is up? Top King one two three here once again with another video on 5M for you guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to attach props and objects to your player. And this video is actually coming at the request of Mr. Stam1234, who commented on our how to build a flatbed trailer that can actually haul stuff video, where he asked, please do a video on how to attach props bottles to your player model. If you guys have any requests for tutorials, please make sure to go in the comment section below and ask for... Uh, tutorials on how to build different things and I'll do my best to build them. If you want a custom vehicle of some sort with the F4 menu, I'll do my best to recreate it. You know, just let me know down there what you guys want. So a couple really important things before we get into this video, you cannot do this if the lobby does not support script hooks. You have to be able to use the F4 menu to attach everything. Um, and the second very important thing to remember is that this takes a little bit of preparation, so an idea in advance of what you want to role play and what you want to do. I meant to put that back down, I'm sorry. Uh, so like you need to get an idea of, I think today I'm going to role play as a drug dealer, for example. So you need to like go in here and get some of the props and stuff in advance, write them down with a piece of paper. That's what I do. Uh, and a very important thing also, sometimes some of these props will not spawn for other players in multiplayer. I've only had that happen once or twice with a couple very small props, but this works with Christmas trees. I mean, it, it Christmas gifts, uh, guns, weapons, effects that are even in single player. So it's going to be very difficult to find a prop that doesn't work. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So like, uh, what was his name? Uh, Mr. Stam1234 asked, he said, how to attach props and bottles to your players. So we're going to actually look up a, a bottle here to show you guys how to do this. So we're going to hit F7, go into enter map mode. And the reason I like using F7, it's a little bit easier to use to actually find props. Now, once you're in this menu, you're going to press F to spawn a prop. And it's going to bring you this list. We're going to hit the space bar here to look up a prop. We're going to look up a bottle. I didn't do that right. I'm sorry. Anyway, so let's go ahead and find a beer bottle here. All right, that looks like a pretty good one. So once you write that name down, I already wrote it down here a couple minutes ago. So let's go ahead and get out of the F7 menu by clicking F7 and then go to enter and exit map editor by pressing enter. Now, you're going to open up your F4 menu by pressing F4 on the keyboard. Go down to where I am, the object spawning. Just so it's a little bit easier, let's go ahead inside here. There it is in the air. I'll explain what happened in a moment. Now that we're inside, we're going to go ahead and do this one of two ways. You can either use the F4 menu's objects through here, but there's a very limited number. But it's kind of basic, so if you want a bottle, you can go to prop underscore bottle. And it's got a decent amount. You want ammo and stuff like that. You can kind of tell it's got a lot in here but it's very bland and it's not very easy to just straight up search for one so since we got the name with the f7 menu we're going to go ahead down here to spawn object by entering model hash or model name press 5 on the numpad make sure your number lock is on so it's lit up you're going to type in the name of that model you just saw which is prop underscore amb underscore beer underscore bottle Okay, press enter on your keyboard and it should say object spawn at the bottom. Look to your right and as you can see it's spawned in the floor which is fine, don't worry about it. Now we're going to go to attach objects menu and you're going to use this right here. Attach object to ped, you want to stay away from that, that just spawns it on the last uh, bodyguard that you spawned. This one right here, player, that is your actual player itself. Now, you can do this with any part of your body. So if you want to add something on your back, like a backpack, you're going to want to attach it to your spine. If you're going to add something like uh, uh, a knife and you want to role play that you got stabbed in the leg, you're going to want to use your uh, uh, right knee, for example, right here. So just look for R, which is right, L is for left, uh, name of something. So for this, we're going to be adding it in our left hand. Yeah, well, no, I want to add it in my right hand. And fingers are kind of interesting on here too, so yep, there we go, right hand. Now, it spawned it on your player like that, don't worry. What you're going to do now is go down here to move attached object, press 5, and then use your uh, keypad to move it around a little bit, and it actually starts to follow our character. And don't worry, that's not how it's going to be, we're going to fix it. So, to move it like this, kind of rotate it, you're going to hold the forward slash down uh, on your, uh, is that a forward slash? Yeah, that's a forward slash. Uh, down on your number pad. And just to move it normally, you're going to use the regular numbers without holding it down. You got that? Okay. So, 
just gonna go ahead and get it in our hand. Now this, like I said, takes a little bit of preparation. Advance. We're using Ford Slash right now. Like I said, it takes a little bit of preparation here. That's probably close enough for role play events. And there we go. We got a beer bottle in our hand. So you could role play uh, around, say you're a drunk guy or something like that. Let's go to options and uh, do this right here. I, I think it's on here. It's like uh, your walking motion or something. Yeah, simple. No simple. I thought it was on here. I could be totally wrong. I could have sworn it was an option here to uh, turn on drunk mode or something like that. Unless I'm just totally going past it. Oh, well, it's not that important. You guys get the idea here. That's pretty much how you do it. Now, to give you guys a heads up in advance, you don't have to do this with just beer bottles. You can do it, like I said, with machetes. You can do it with money bags. You can do it with really anything you want on this game. And to get rid of this prop, what you're going to do is open the menu back up, go down to object spawning, object uh, attached objects menu, and detach player bodyguard ped. Now, what you're going to want to do is when you're going to get rid of this, I want, you need to go to like a stationary item or a prop or something where no one's going to be like over here and just kind of detach it because 99% of the time the prop will stay in midair and if it's something big like a, a chainsaw for example like let's just see if there is a chainsaw hold on and yep you could add that to your player model right there Ooh, or you could add that and role play as a firefighter um, or you could add the shotgun in one hand to look just kind of cool if you want. You know, and just get the names, write them down before you actually try to spawn stuff. But yeah, that's how simple it is. It's very simple to do. It's very fun to do in role plays because people usually are really shocked by you actually getting that. And it's really simple. It's a lot like my police shield video, but it's not that difficult. It just takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of getting used to. And uh, once you do it enough times, you get used to it like I did, and it becomes very simple. So, guys, hopefully this helped you guys out. If you guys have any other requests for tutorials on 5M, make sure you guys go in the comment section below and post what you guys want me to make a video on and show you guys how to do that. You can do anything from how do I build a certain vehicle from this movie uh, that has props on it, and I'll help you guys find out that way. Uh, how do I do this in 5M? How do I do that in 5M? How do I install graphic packs or whatever? How to install custom sirens is entirely up to you, and I will do my best to walk you through on how to do it. Thank you once again. I will catch you guys later. Stay awesome, and I will see you guys next time.